how to create generative pixel art nfts hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own generative pixel art nfts so let's get started so in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create an nft like this and many many more so let's just get started so i'm over here on this website called pixelart.com and what you're going to do is just simply come over here i've already created an account so let me just show you how it is so this is the dashboard over here this is how it's going to look like you're just simply going to come over here and just simply sign up and once you sign up you're going to come over here onto your dashboard and over here once you come over here onto this dashboard just simply click on a start drawing now you can use this software or you can use other software as well it all depends on you so over here i'm just simply going to click on new and i'm going to click create a new canvas now to create a new canvas what you're going to need to do is you're going to need your width and height to be 24 pixels by 24 pixels right because that's the standard one we're going to you know create a smaller version of the canvas and then we're, at the end we're going to make it bigger so first just keep it 24 by 24 and just simply you know don't select the color palette or anything else and just simply click on new drawing and over here this is going to be your dashboard so first things first let's go ahead and map it out so one two three four five six right we're going to start from over here we're just simply going to choose our color okay we have our color and one two three four five six seven then we're going to come over here leave eight blocks over here and then just one two three four five six seven eight and see one two three four five six seven eight and click on nine so that we have a pretty decent border one two three four yep there you go then we're going to create one over here and one over here for the uh, actual skull and let me just see over here so as you can see this is the one i created so now we're going to go up one two three four five we're going to go up one two three four five one two three four five there you go now we go for the uh, ears something like that as you can see then one more over here one more over here one two three four five or actually four one two three four there you go and now what we're going to do is we're going to go with the head over here so simply one two one two and one two three one two three boom there you go as you can see now we just close it off over here there you go now we have a basic outline now all we have to do is just simply you know create our teeth over here i'll go with this there you go as you can see it's really centered two over here two over here one one in the middle and then two around so really good really nice now we just simply create the nose over here pretty big nose actually so now for the nose as you can see over here this one is a little bit different because in this one i only had two teeth you know over here i have three so just create a nose pretty big nose should be something like this maybe if you create a little bit different it should be centered as well so let's go ahead and make it a little bit more centered let me just go ahead and do this there you go now it's a little bit you know centered let me just go ahead and fix the teeth as well so for the teeth what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to one two over here one two over here and then over here actually we're just gonna keep it three gonna create one over here and we're gonna create one over here so two teeth one nose there you go boom now we come over here for the eyes and the eyes are very simple you can go with this one over here one over here one over here and one over here like this one as you can see maybe if you you know put like a dot over here like an x looks really nice here you go now it looks pretty nice everything looks equal now all that is left for us to do is just simply fill in the color so filling in the colors is very simple over here on the uh, right side you will see you have your color palette over here just choose any color you want you know pick over here and then just go with it so for example like let's say we are going with a purple color so what we'll do is we'll just choose this color and start to you know fill it out from the bottom right corner to the top left corner of the skull so i've already picked the color so simply i'm going to put one palette over here and then two over here for a darker shade and then a more darker shade at the next one and then an even more darker shade over here and then we're gonna keep on doing this you know like this and we're just simply gonna move on so just simply gonna go ahead and fill this out until the end and so just bear with me for a second over here guys so actually i'm just simply gonna go ahead and fill this out and i'm gonna pause the video right here and i will catch you guys in a second when it is all done i mean for you it might be a second 
but for me it won't be so as you can see this is how it looks like when it's done all right now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on add a frame all right we're going to add a frame we're going to do the exact same thing now what you can do is maybe you can come over here and you can copy this frame right copy the frame and come over here and start coloring it as a different one so we're going to go ahead and copy another frame a uh, couple of ones actually wait i'm just simply going to delete this and i'm just simply going to create another one over here with the same dimensions right as this one uh, like an outline and then i'm going to copy that then going to fill it out so i'm just simply going to pause the video right here again all right so as you can see i have created the outline right They're very similar now now what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on copy frame I'll copy this five times for the final one i'll just simply delete that one now we have five frames all right now what we want to do is actually i'm going to copy another one. Oh no i'm just simply going to choose that and then i'm just simply going to color these out as appropriate so now i'm going to color the second one out then the third one then the fourth one and then the fifth one so let's get into it so since we put the purple color and the last shade was this darkish blue color over here we're going to continue on with this one from this corner to back with an even darker coat so let's go ahead and do that actually over here now we just simply move on with the lighter over here and even different color over here you know keep it contrast color palette move with the next color that you have and start filling in with those blocks over here like this like this like this next we're just simply going to move with this one this one this one and boom where we go now we will go with an even darker coat over here like this and just go on and just keep filling these squares with this color or with any color that you want just keep the contrast very similar so that it feels like it's you know slowly getting darker and from one point to the other i'm just simply going to fill this out and i'll catch you guys in a second there you go now as you can see it's a different color with different shades now we're going to do the exact same thing with the third uh you know one so since the last color with this color we're going to go move with the third one with that last color as well i'm going to put that color over here and move on with the darker color like this so the same thing i'm going to do with this one just fill it out very simple give me a second guys and so here you go guys as you can see i've you know colored all five of these you know frames now, if i click on preview the frame this is how it looks like see how it's you know shifting colors it looks really really nice really really cool now you can go ahead and create this one as well or you can do something else something more advanced is you can go ahead and make it like a squish and bounce like you know like it would go from the top you just remove like one over here one you know block over here one block over here one block over here block in the middle a block in the middle and maybe like a little bit you know chafe off the eyes a little bit and stuff that way and then in the next one you know keep hold of that frame and in the next one you move all of it down and you you know restore it and then in the next one you move it back off that way it'll look like it's bouncing looks really nice looks really cool that's a little advanced but you know for beginners i think this one is good so once you have made this all that is left for you to do is just simply download the gif and over here at the top you will have the download option simply click on download as you can see it's loading right now 80 percent, and now you're good to go simply just download the gif save it and you are good to go and then you can just simply upload it onto open seas and convert it into an nft so there you go so that is it for this video guys that is how you create a generative pixel art nft using a free tool so i hope you guys understand what to do in this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye